global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. And um, we're taking a drive down to Imo State. A lot has been happening there. A lot of drama. And uh, uh, If you check our previous feed, you will see a lot of issues that seems to be unresolved, especially bordering on the party system in Imo State. The APC is fighting with PDP and... Uh, a lot of people are calling the present governor, Uzodima, so many names. And right now, as I'm talking to you, there is a, a most serious thing that has happened, which has to do with uh, the present governor taking a walk to PDP secretariat to retrieve some vehicles that were given to the party. And um, the press statement from the publicity acting publicity secretary of PDP uh, Ogu Gundu Mwadike, that, that's the acting state publicity secretary, has it that the inf this press statement has it that a tax force from the government house Oweri to the June 9, 2020, stormed the state secretariat of IMO PDP and withdraw two vehicle one J Jack truck and one innocent truck at the order of Senator Uzodima via an official request for the vehicle which were voluntarily given to the party by the immediate past government of Imo State. Until the official withdrawal of the vehicle, there were properties of Imo PDP assigned to the state chairman, Chief Martin Ejogu, and the state secretary, Honorable Nze Re Emana respectively. It, it will go down on record that this is the first time in the history of politics in Imo State, at least since 1999, a vehicle donated to a political party by a previous government will be withdrawn by a new regime, hence the withdrawal of the two vehicles by Uzodima regime is viewed by our party as an unfortunate precedence in the annals of politics in the state. It may be recalled that between May 29, 2019 and January 14, 2020, when IMO PDP was in power, there was no time the review IMO administration withdrew any vehicle its predecessor, the rescue mission regime, gave to all progressive Congress APC in the state. The normal practice is for vehicles donated to a party by the government at any point in time to remain the property of the party this party takes this action takes this action of Uzodima regime as another evidence of the increasing deliberate resolve by the current regime to deal ruthlessly with Imo PDP as it was widely quoted as threatening recently we wonder where such action will lead this regime and Imo state as time passes the instructions for the withdrawal of the vehicle were communicated to the IMO PDP leaders via two separate official letters to the effect addressed to them in their individual office capacity in the party. The unedited text of the letter of withdrawal read thus: Return of one JAC, that jack truck belonging to IMO state government, back to the Transport Officer, Government House, Oweri. That was the title. And the body read thus, I have been instructed by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzodima, for you to return one jack truck belonging to Imo State Government without further delay. Two, you are to return the same to the Transport Officer, Government House, Oweri, who will in return give you an acknowledgement letter clearing you of the burden three please take note steps to implement his excellency please take necessary steps to implement his excellency the governor's directive 
After receiving the vehicle, the task force leader handwritten acknowledgement read DOS. This is to acknowledge the fact that one jack truck has been returned from Chief Martins, a jogu of PDP Imo State, by the transport unit of Imo State Government House. This day, the 9th of June 2020, it was it was signed by the transport officer as T.O. Governor ha Government House for Special Advisor on Security. It is necessary to note that the wordings are both on the withdrawal letter and acknowledgement by the transport officer to the state chairman was word for word same for the state secretary. The only difference between that way Jack uh, was written on the letter to the state chairman Innocent was written on the letter to the state secretary signed by Ogubundu Wadike, acting state publicity secretary, Imo PDP. And I have my colleague in the house, and we're going to be talking about this. This is for some persons that just believe that it's a good one, um, and it's a way of trying to see how they can retrieve some of the tax Payers' money is used um, to buy gift and you know to give uh, buy gift for political parties. But some people also believe that it is not a good one because we've also witnessed this same administration, you know, buying some cars to brand new cars, brand new cars to judges. And uh, I don't know if by the time a new government uh, from the opposition party takes over in most state, if they have to also retreat those cars from the judge because I know so well that that may not be from the post of the present governor. Looking at all of this, what do you have to say about it? You know, from the beginning, it has this whole thing began from the time of the publicity secretary for uh, that's uh, Ambrose yeah. that has been in custody for a while now concerning so many things he has said. He started by calling him Supreme Court Governor. They charged the case to court where he has been charged for t the terrorism, uh, cyberbullying of the governor and all whatnot. And that's actually a PDP uh, publicity secretary, okay. uh, director in Imo chapter, Imo oh. state chapter. Mm -hmm. And now this is also PDP secretariat vehicles being retrieved. Uh, like uh, Lawan will say, President of the uh, Senate will say, this is partisan politics. I would have preferred the governor to let some... There's some things, they are important, yes. Uh, they, are, uh, they are necessary, yes. But they are not key, they are not core. There are some things you just let go. Yeah, exactly. Not because um, you can't. No, nobody's daring your power. You are the, of course, you are the governor of the state. Nobody's questioning your authority, but for the good of all, to accommodate everyone, so that Imo State will move to the next level. So, so certain things, constructive criticism, just take it with a pinch of salt and move on. Yeah. Because if you want to start retrieving. Then when the next regime will come, come or the next exactly. day the governor will come, he will retrieve, like you rightly said, those governors, uh, governors, um, uh, uh, those uh, judges' uh, vehicles, exactly. and every other thing you're going to buy from this your four years to now, exactly. and all your projects, he will abandon them. So exactly. look as if you have and done it's nothing. all going to be helping. The Imo like to suffer. You begin to see that at the end of the day, Imo likes to begin to wonder why are we in a circus? Why are we, these people just they're just playing? Politics, not just partisan politics, but politics that is not even favoring us all as a people. Exactly. And I, I think I really get what you're trying to say here because uh, this will not all go well. The, the, the way they are taking this politics is as if it's a do or die affair. Exactly. It's as if um, if you don't follow me, I will, whatever I can use to humiliate you, I will use it. If those were gifts by the state governor to these people, he's, he was doing it based on the fact that this is my office, you know. And uh, being that this is my office, I have the right to give out gifts as a governor to my people. Why don't you forget about it and concentrate on how you can improve the well-being of the people of uh, Imo State than to keep running from uh, well, chasing after people who are not even significant. Whether you like it or not, their name and their, yeah, their name currently must still be put into you. They are called opposition party, which means 
they will castigate you whatever you have not done right they will open up they will tell the people about it and it's a way of checkmating you they are almost acting like a pressure group to your government so like my colleague has already right, said just see how you can manage them and you know manage the environment because that is the characteristic of any government you must face those things you understand and uh, uh, let me just read one or two things that one people that's the response of uh, different people from different quarters this one says here when power change hand please help save a soul okay say so when power change hand that uh, it's going to that is what you you see and uh, another person here says and i quote he say keep it up hope uzodima Late Abba Kerry will be proud of you. <laughs> Congress Supreme Court Governor. <laughs> Guess what? The name won't stop. You understand? Because as much as they know that whenever they call you that name, you are overly provoked. People will call you that name. I, I wonder how many people he's going to arrest. Because guess what? Children will call him that name. <laughs> Adults will call him that name. Before you know, it will be like a print on his on his you know political career that this was one of the supreme you know Supreme Court governors. So right now, forget about what is going on and see how you can move ahead. This one says you can suppress the flesh, but the spirit would would always suffice. The Supreme Court governor on rampage. <laughs> Another person is doing that. I wonder, maybe he will have to go and revoke some of them, get to know their houses, and see how he can revoke their certificate of occupancies that were signed <laughs> by this guy, uh, the Emeka head you have. All of the, it makes no sense. I'm telling you the whole truth. And what I'm seeing here is actually bitterness. He's so bitter that uh, whatever I have to do to see how I can even crumble that so-called uh, PDP in this state, I will do it so that the, the, the name PDP will never be heard again. But however, we'd like to leave it there. Thank you very much. And um, please go to our comment section. Let us interact. What's your position on the attitude of the governor of Imo State towards um, the opposition party by retrieving those cars? What do you think about it? Let's interact in our